what's going on guys it's your boy high voltage today i'm just going to go over a record prediction for the chargers um week one we opened up against indianapolis at home at 105 this is going to be a very defensive uh defensive type of game um i think i really do think that this was going to come down to who gets the ball last and i i think we're going to take care of business there so we're going to be one and oh um the next week, we have Detroit Lions in Ford Field. I'm always a big Matt Stafford fan, don't get me wrong, but I think that they need some more help on offense, on the offensive side. Defensive side, it's it's decent, you know, it's starting to get there. You know, they got Trey Flowers, they got Damon Harris, they got Glover Quinn. Um, they just, they, that linebacker that they drafted two years ago, he's not bad. Um, but I think I think we're just going to get this done. So that would be 2-0. and oh. Week 3, we got the Texans. And as of right now, it looks like Okun's going to be, you know, gone for, for six weeks is what they're saying. Um, so my opinion right here, Sam Tevy and our starting left tackle, I don't know who it's going to be. It's just going to get feasted on by J.J. Watt and um, Jadavion Clowney, which would be cool or which wouldn't be cool to see. But I mean, it, I mean, I, I expect the Texans to get a lot of sacks on us this game. So that being said, I think that our, our offense is just gonna implode and we're just gonna we're gonna lose this one. So that would be two and one on the year. Um, week four against the Dolphins. In my lifetime, we have beaten the Dolphins one time. One time. However, and thanks to our luck, Miami is quite possibly the worst team in the league. So that's gonna be an L, uh, a win right there. So that'd be three and one. Week five against Denver. You know they they took us. They took. They beat us last year at home, but we beat them at their, at their place. I think that it's going to leave a salty taste in our mouths, and we're going to come out fiery. You know, Philip is going to go off, I hope. Um, they always just seem to get one against us, but I think we're going to take week five. So that would put us at four and one. Week six, we got Pittsburgh at home. 520, primetime game, just like last year. Um, it's, it's going to be a very good game. I, I'm looking forward to seeing this. Big Ben versus Phillip Rivers. Phillip got the best of him last uh, last year. However, with the loss of Antonio Brown, I think that the, the Chargers are just, just a better team right now. So I'm going to give us a win. So that put us at 5-1. Week 7, we got the Tennessee Titans in Nashville. To me, this is the trap game of our schedule. And I, I think, you know, we're riding high. I think we're on a three-game win streak right now is what I have us at. I think this is where it comes to an end, and Tennessee's going to grab this one. And um, this is going to be the game where Phillip throws, like, three interceptions, and one of them's going to go to the house. He just has a bad game. He, he's due for it. You know, it's good. Let's get the team. You know, it's going to be a bad taste in their mouth. We're going to come out next week. We're going to be fiery. But I really think we're going to lose that one. Um, week eight. See, they kind of did us dirty here. We're playing in Chicago in late October, so, or yeah, late October. I'm hoping it's decent weather. I, it's probably not going to be decent weather, and I think that the Bears' defense is just going to be too much for us. And you know, we're not used to playing on the cold. You know, everyone's like, "Oh, we went undefeated in it in out or um, on the road." Yes, we did, but I still I think Chicago cold is different type of cold. You know what I mean? I personally think that this is going to be an L. So we're going to go on a two-game losing streak right here, and we're going to be at four and three, probably around second place, maybe third place, depending on how Denver's doing. Um, week nine, we got Green Bay coming here. Last time we played Green Bay, Phillip Rivers threw for 500 yards, and we lost, which is pretty embarrassing. I think he's the first quarterback to, to ever have that happen to him. Um, so I think we're going to come out. If we're healthy, if we're healthy, I think we're going to come out, and we're going to beat these guys. You know what I mean? I think it's going to be closer than what everyone thinks. Um, I'm thinking like just a shootout on, on offense, you know what I mean? So right now that would leave us at six and three. Week 10, we got the Raiders. Yesterday, because this video is going to go up the, the next day, Antonio Brown said he might retire because of his helmet. That is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. But you know how funny that would be if it happened to the Raiders? Because the Raiders, they just they just can't seem to get going. Like, I don't know what's going on. They try to rebuild. They, try, they have a good squad, and then they're just going to fall off. They had that one good year in 2016, and then they just fell off. Like, I totally expect it. Um, I think we're going to win this one. We always seem to beat the Raiders. Um, that would be 7-3. and three. Uh, Week 11, we got Kansas City. 
uh, in Mexico City, which is technically our home game. Um, I think we're going to split with Kansas City, so I'm going to give us this one right here. There's not much to say except that we... we the Ka Kansas City has owned us the past four years, five years. You know what I mean? I think that we finally can get to them this year and maybe win this division. So I'm going to chalk that one up as a dub. Week 12, we got a bye. Um, week 13, we got Denver at Denver. For some strange reason, we always lose a game to Denver. And I think this is where, where we're going to lose it. Um, hopefully by this time, though, um, Drew Locke is the starting quarterback. Um, I don't really know what to say. I'm just going to chalk this one up as a L. Week 14, we got the Jags. Uh, we're going to Jacksonville. Um, we always seem to beat the Jags. This, this game's just going to come down to if Nick Foles and Leonard Fournette can, can just carry that offense. You know what I mean? If, if our defense has a bad game, then, then they're going to they're gonna run all over us. But I think we're going to win this one. So that would leave us at 9-4, and four, which is not bad. Uh, week 15, primetime game, Sunday night. Against the Minnesota Vikings, who my boy Pat Patrick uh, Waleski is a huge fan of. I might be going to this game. I personally think that we're going to get this one done. You know, it's a primetime game. We all know Kirk Cousins can't win can't win in primetime games, which is which is going to be sweet. Um, on top of that, is this, this is just going to be a defensive battle. We got our defense, who people have ranked as the third best defense, and the Viking defense, who I've seen go up as high as two, but as low as like six. So I think that this is a defensive battle, and I think that we're going to get it done. The last time we played Minnesota, in Minnesota, we played them when the stadium was being built, so we played at the University of Minnesota. We got smacked. Let's just be honest. We got smacked. But I think we're going to get it done, and I, 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 I just hope. You know what I mean? This, this just seems like a game that we can lose, but I'm going to give it to us. Week 16 against the Raiders. We're going to take that one as well. So we're going to be 11-4 and four, uh, coming on to week 17. Uh, week 17 is the Chiefs. I, we're gonna we we're gonna split with the Chiefs. It's just it's due to happen. It's just destiny. I'd like to say we don't. Um, however, that would leave us at eleven and five. That's just one game worse than than what we did last year. That could very well be enough to win this division. It really could. It's just all gonna depend on how the Chiefs do and if Patrick Mahomes regresses like I expect him to. So with that being said, we're probably gonna make the playoffs either as a wild card. Or like the number one or two seed, which would be sweet. And then, you know, it all depends on playoff seeding there. Um, so with that being said, this is your boy High Voltage. Make sure you hit that subscribe, bur subscribe button and hit that uh, like button as well. For all your Chargers news, videos, and hot takes, make sure you subscribe to the High Voltage YouTube channel. Thank you. Have a good day.